Uh, Cole is probably one of the most unique people that I've ever met. He's a guy that thinks outside the box, which is a very special thing to have these days. He's very outgoing, but uh, at the end of the day, what I really enjoy about Cole, what makes Cole Cole, is his passion for wanting to help people. You know, he, he does things for a purpose. Yeah, sometimes he does something that people may not like or things that people disagree with, but at the end of the day, he's still trying to help people and he is helping people, and that's the most important thing. The problem you always run into as a trainer is every time it's eating. You can train them till their bones damn near crack, but it's the frickin' eating. Well, this diet basically came about because it's self-development. I've been into self-development for years. This one girl I was training, I won't say names, but I challenged her, challenged her to this fast. She did it, but then I had all the other girls I was training end up doing it as well. And because, you know, you gotta be a leader, right? You got to be a leader. I ended up fasting too. Now because they were doing a 24 hour fast, I'm like, well, I'll go 36 because I got to freaking one up them because I'm their trainer. So after the fast, I woke up almost like a light went off. It was like crazy how I felt. I felt empty, but I actually felt good. I took all the food that I'd normally eat on those normal days before. So like the breakfast and the steak dinner, I just mashed all the food into this little tiny window, as short as period as I could eat, like an hour and a half or something. So I ate the meal, and then I started eating one meal a day. And that first week, I was already down from 187.4 down to 181.0 pounds in the morning. I had not changed my calorie intake whatsoever. All I did is stopped eating six fucking meals a day, and I crammed it in a small window. I still hadn't lost any strength. I compete in powerlifting, so if anyone's gonna notice that, I'll notice it. And I didn't lose no strength. Like, I was still deadlifting 500 pounds, like big bench press too. Even at that weight, I was still benching like 340, you know, that kind of thing. All of a sudden, after I got lean, you know, all of a sudden I started really hammering social media and I'm shameless, and this gets into more self development stuff. And I, the, my testosterone and growth hormone are through the roof. Like, it felt like I was on steroids when I, like, the first two weeks into this diet because, like, I could, squ before I would squat like a hard squat set. And I would literally like be just a fucking mess for like three days. Like, you know, can't even sit on the toilet and shit. And then when I started this diet, it's like I could have squatted like three days in a row. A girl I used to train actually, she's like, oh, geez, you should make a YouTube channel. I, so I started this channel just as a joke. I'm like snake diet because it was like simulates the way a snake would eat almost. It was like because I eat like a massive feeding and then they fucking don't eat for days on end, right? And then it just started kind of catching on. But the main thing was, is I was preaching something that's completely non-mainstream. Every nutritionist out there preaches six meals a day. And I know it's complete bullshit. So fasting, basically, the whole reason for the McDonald's diet is the idea that fasting is so effective that I can literally eat processed food with good macro count, mind you. And I'm not being an idiot. I'm staying away from all the sugar and shit. So I'm eating processed food with the proper protein, carbs, and fat. How's it going, man? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm going to eat as much salad as I can, but I'm going to still be eating the fattiest burger. The fattiest burgers on the menu are actually the best burgers because they got the best carb to protein to fat ratio. People badmouth like, you know, the fast food industry, but you can easily get fat going and shopping at Superstore too. Exactly. You can buy pop at Superstore. You can buy ice cream at Superstore. It's the same bullshit. I'll give you, I'm gonna check your blood pressure. Okay, sure. And then what I'll do is give you a requisition to do that blood test. Awesome, man. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much. We're here today at Glenwood Radiology. And basically, this is the start of our McDonald's movie. And hopefully after a month, I am not a fat bastard. scan him from the top of the head to the bottom of his feet. So, because it's kind of like a sweep, so... Your bone density, average, above average, and this is where we have athletes. And you're a little bit higher than that, so you're in the gifted range. Perfect. You are gifted. Alright, so your composition, um, the amount of muscle mass you have is 147.1 uh, pounds. This was great, and I'm excited to see the oh, results. Yeah, really excited. Positive thoughts. Yeah. Alright. We're just here at DynaLife right now, and I'm going to get some blood tests for the pre-snake diet movie, and also some urine tests, and see how I check out, and then we'll compare that with after 30 days and see if 
McDonald's actually even affects me. I'm gonna be eating McDonald's for 30 days straight, so today I'm gonna to eat three hamburgers. I'm gonna eat a double, a double quarter pounder BLT. I'm gonna eat two of those, and then an Angus burger, and then a bunch of peanut butter and stuff just to ease into this. I'm not gonna hammer back a bunch of garbage because the whole point of this is to not, I'm trying to eat on the menu in a way with my fasting, with my snake diet, that you're actually, you can actually maintain a decent body fat and not get fat. Yeah, so we're a few minutes early. So right now, if you see these screens, it's all showing breakfast and basically right at the crack of 11 a.m. it'll flip the burgers, which is kind of cool. A double quarter pounder, PLT. I haven't had one of these since I was a kid. Where I'm hoping to get like as much potassium as I can out of these vegetables. Sweet almost, eh? A double quarter pounder BLT plus a double quarter pounder BLT plus an Angus, uh, what is it, cheese and bacon, and three garden salads, and then seven packs of peanut butter. And that's my meal for the day, and we'll see how I feel tomorrow. I might have to eat more, I might have to eat a little less. This is day two at McDonald's. Yesterday after I ate, I was kind of scared. I felt like, I thought I might feel like crap, and I actually felt great. I went for a swim about three hours after I ate, swam a mile like in as fast a time as I would have ever swam it. Like, and I haven't even swam for a couple months. Even like this leaf, like you know, just look at the color. It's actually really green. Like this is, it's gonna be nutritious. Like look how green it is, and I can taste it. You know, when I eat it. I'm not gonna shave for the 30 days, so it'll kind of be like a funny looking trend. So I'm nice and baby faced right now. And by the end of this McDonald's saga, I'm gonna look like an old man. So. I was constantly losing a little bit of weight for the last three days, so I just been amping up the calorie count. First day I ate 3,000, second day I ate 3,500, and today I said screw it and ate 4,500. And all as I did is I ate a pile of peanut butter. I haven't felt any issues at all other than I'm not used to eating that bit of bread. And I obviously have a bit of a lull after I eat, like you know, just like anybody when they're eating carbohydrates but it would be way worse if I was at Subway because there's way more bread. <laughs> a lot of people, if you ask them if they ever eat fast food or McDonald's, a lot of people will say no. Yet I've been here for eight days straight and the traffic is steady as hell. So somebody's lying. It's because it's just that taboo aspect of being judged for, say, eating fast food because you'll get fatter. It's funny how society puts such a stigma on things that people are actually scared to admit they even do them. So basically today what we're doing is we're showing how crappy Subway is. So I have a double quarter pounder BLT hamburger here. And then I got a Subway chicken bacon ranch melt. And this is a six inch. And the reason I picked this sub is because it's got the highest caloric content. So it'd be the best bang for your buck if you bought it at Subway. So what we're going to do is we're going to dissect. So right now I got this scale teared out and we're going to weigh this chicken. So I'm at 51.5 grams of chicken. We'll go 52 grams of chicken even though it's not even on there. It's basically nothing. 11 grams of bacon. Total meat on the sub is 63 grams. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip all the vegetables off of this sub and this cheese and I'm gonna weigh this bun. 84 grams. Most of the calories for this sub is off that bun. You're gonna literally be at probably 17 grams. 17 grams probably right around of protein due to meat in this sub, which is brutal. Now the burger from McDonald's. 80. So both patties are about 160 grams. It's about 32 grams of protein. And I eat three of these every day. And so from the beef alone, I'll be getting about 90 grams of protein, which is good, 96, okay? So here's the bacon. 10 grams of bacon. Literally, you're gonna get double the protein in this McDonald's burger as you will that Subway sub for the exact same damn price. And now I'm gonna weigh this bun. So 68 and a half grams of bun. Subway, Sub, most of the calories are coming from the bun. All these joints with bread, and if we want to talk health, bread fucking kills you, it's freaking sugar. Um, you know, even me, I can get away with eating this much bread, that's why I knew when I did this whole 
test to start with. It wasn't going to be that bad because I looked at the macros and the bread. So how many people go to Subway and think it's actually healthy? I used to go to Subway all the time. And like, you know, all the sugar causes inflammation. The moral of the story is listen to your body. If you feel good, chances are you don't have many issues. If you feel like shit, there's probably something wrong. And I feel amazing every single day. Everyone have a great day and stay tuned for Sunday. 11 a.m. I'll be in McDonald's and I'll be making a massive pig of myself. It's going to be amazing. Have an awesome day. Okay, so we got my makeshift MacGyver tripod because I'm going to do a Facebook Live while I eat all this food today. And it worked perfect, actually. A couple of elastics. You know, you got your phone on the McDonald's cup that they charge me 25 cents for this extra cup. <laughs> so the reason I'm doing this today is to show with the snake diet how I'm going to eat all this in an hour, but I could eat all this food throughout the day. And then it would be like a day where you would screw up, where you would maybe go to a wedding or a birthday and you could eat all day long. And then tomorrow I'm going to fast all day, so I won't eat at all tomorrow. So I'm just trying to show the versatility of eating this way and the capability I have over a lot of people because I'm able to fast for so long very easily. But I'll eat like basically I'm eating for two days in one sitting here. And I'm just for some wow effect, I'm going to eat it all in an hour. But normally you could eat like two separate meals or whatever, right? But might as well make a pick of myself here. So I got six salads and <laughs> 20 peanut butters and <laughs> and a lot of hamburgers six double quarter pounders the worst part is the bun for sure but even all these burgers today i'm only going to be about at 240 grams of carbs there's people that eat like <laughs> like double that each day and not even eating close to the food. And also, this is my seven year reunion today, or actually tomorrow, but today, and I haven't drank alcohol for seven years. And I always talk about self development and how not drinking alcohol is probably the best thing I, like giving up alcohol is probably the best thing I ever did. And it actually led me to this whole shamas, like, you know, being able to approach strangers and, and, you know, doing a movie and not worrying about like money and, all these cool things it all started with me quitting drinking and then i worked on myself and worked on myself to where i lost i got rid of that drinking addiction or that fear that everyone has that make that forces them to drink to have fun and now i'm like now i'm even more developed where now i you know i don't really care what anybody thinks about whatever i do i don't care about judgment i'm bit pretty much fearless we're at modern touch nails and i was referred here by a friend that i used to train and I'm gonna go out and do some cold approaching on Saturday as my cameraman. The cool part is when you got your nails painted and you're a dude, you're very approachable when it comes to approaching women. We're doing a little Facebook Live, so I needed to use Mike's phone to balance this phone or else this cup wants to tip over. Perfect. Yeah, like the colors, you know the colors like yellow and red, right? Mm. I wouldn't mind maybe putting like the little golden arches on the thumbs or something. I can actually <laughs> even do the face of the Ronald McDonald guy. So can we, you? Yeah, so we can do that. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Hamburglar's giving her a tough time. He's a villain. Nice. Perfect. That's fantastic. He's not good with the hand modeling thing yet. I do have very beautiful hands it. though. <laughs> Check out Modern Touch Nails and she does an awesome job. She's got the little tiny brush and it's so detailed. So it's awesome. This was our first boot camp at Lexus, West Side, West End Edmonton. And um, basically what happened is Tony actually grew up with Zach and then he kicked Zach to me to do some dieting help and then me and Zach talked and he ended up letting us do a boot camp in the Lexus dealer. So it was just really good networking actually back right back to the networking, talking to people and like hustling and and uh, yeah, it was an awesome boot camp and Jordan led it and he whooped everybody's ass and uh, and I did some filming and because everyone charges, right? So it just goes right with our theme of like, you know, people pay us what they feel is fair for training. So why not throw a big boot camp where you can draw like a ton of volume? And then it just, it's just the name. It's just getting the word out, you know? People, the value there, you don't have to need to charge people. You just gotta get people in a group and then it just, you end up getting success in other ways, not money. 
It's like you're, you start out so small. Like I remember back in the day when me and Tony, like he was training and I was like grinding out on the street trying to get clients, like literally on the street, right? Looking like I do now, kind of like a grub because I was sick. But then now look at, now we hustled hard and we now we're doing a boot camp in the Lexus dealership, right? It's pretty cool stuff. Basically, we're gonna go cold approach some people and see who thinks Subway and McDonald's, see what they think is healthier, Subway or McDonald's. Hey everyone, I'm here on White Ave with a cock on my head. It's no big deal. <laughs> you got balls. <laughs> hey guys, stop you guys for a second, ask you a question. <laughs> Basically, do you think Subway's healthier than McDonald's? I personally don't. It's about the same, depending on what you get. Because I know most people still think Subway is healthier, right? But it's like the bread is garbage and there's so many carbohydrates and just makes you fat. How's it going, man? Nice, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what is this all about? I want that. There you go. Nice. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> High fives. Oh, she doesn't like me. Why do you have a <laughs> wow effect. Is that a microphone? Yeah, this is. You can talk into it. Subway or McDonald's? Subway. It depends what you order, I guess. Generally but speaking, though, if you were going to, what would you generally think? Generally, I'd go to Subway. See? So you'd usually pick Subway is what you're saying? Probably. So like, what, do you usually get a 12-inch sub or a 6-inch? Six, 6. I don't... So that's like yeah. probably this long or so? Yeah, I, I might choose McDonald's, to be honest. Would you? Nice! <laughs> Shameless. Yeah. It's hard to say that nowadays. McDonald's gets such a bad rap. I know. Uh, I've gotten food poisoning from Subway, but never McDonald's. Nice. Subway. Oh. Probably go to Subway. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we're in trouble. All Subway? All... I'll tell you guys right now, Subway is fucking garbage because... Oh! <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> Raise your hand if you think Subway is healthier than McDonald's. When you say Subway, like, what makes you think it? Vegetables, vegetables, yeah. Okay, what about all the bread you eat though? But yeah, I eat the bread. Well, Subway, yeah. Okay, what about you? Well, I, yeah, but you're probably gonna like tell us we're wrong. Subway. McDonald's. Why do you say that? Your salads are healthier. Oh, nice! I've been found, to see? I've been eating three salads, so I've been eating McDonald's for 17 days straight so far, and we're making yeah, a movie. Great. Thanks, thanks. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> I look so cool. Much that I look just <laughs> awesome. That is so funny. That's Pretty cool, uh, eh? What's his name? Hamburglar. Yeah. Hamburglar. Yeah, but a lot of people don't even know who he is anymore. They don't preach Hamburglar anymore. <laughs> Scale of one to ten, how hot is my ass really like, right it's now? It's like a nine point five right now. Like, like it's, it's like popping. hard squat. It's like you know? yeah, like here, here, it's poke it butt, seriously. It's poke it. <laughs> here, try. Yeah. My butt looks pretty hot in them, eh? Are those Lulus? Sure are. On a scale of one to ten, what do you think? Probably at least nine. Nice. No, I just do this for fun. This is my formal outfit. I got a wedding to go to in an hour. <laughs> Wait, turn your head so we can see it. <laughs> we gave me a good chunk of bacon today. So, this is kind of cool because this bacon is energy. <laughs> so, a lot of times, so I always get bacon on my BLTs, but sometimes they forget. So, I gotta remind them. Now, every time I remind them, this is packed with bacon. <laughs> my doctor called me yesterday and my cholesterol is actually down 1.5 points from eating McDonald's from where it was before I started eating McDonald's, so that's pretty awesome. We went to the swim pool today and did a couple laps in the pool and I had some Speedos on, you know, shameless as usual. And uh, yeah, I just, you know, I'm basically promoting myself by being shameless and I'm not spending a dime. And I'm actually getting fairly popular because it's like when you're very passionate about something and you're having fun, it just pays you back and success in different ways, not necessarily money, but success would be a measure of just having fun and happiness. And every day, it's just a new story. Whatever you're passionate about, don't let anybody tell you to do different, even if it's something that you, they tell you, oh, you won't make any money doing that. You just do it. Don't listen to a damn person. Just do what you love. The first time when I ate 7,200 calories or that big ass one meal and then I basically skipped a day, I felt like you feel like shit when you eat that much, okay? That was just like more for like wow effect. But this time I'm gonna be smart. So this is more what I wanna show how cool this diet is where I'll actually eat two times today and I'll still get a workout in and I still won't feel shitty. I'll break the meal into two and then tomorrow I won't eat again at all and then I won't eat again till 
I guess, what, Wednesday morning, because today's Monday. So it's, yeah, Monday, then Wednesday morning I'll eat again. So it's, it's the skip a day rule, but it's breaking those, that one day up like today into two meals so I don't feel so full, so I actually still get in the gym and, actually, and I end up getting a wicked long fast out of it, which is very beneficial and I still get a good workout. Hey, fatty! <laughs> this is day 30 of eating McDonald's. So, so farewell McDonald's on the third, but I'll be continuing to update people on Facebook and stuff like that about the next few days. Everyone have an awesome day and get that fat in ya! <laughs> so on your month on McDonald's, you have lost about 0 0.4, so less than, yeah. less than a pound of muscle. You had your shoulder not been tweaked, you know, and if you were still doing your shoulder exercises, I believe, if anything, you would have gained the muscle, so. Cool. No, it's a, it's a really good. It's it's a really good result, right? Like it's it's like I was eating every single day. I was eating three double quarter pounders and the so yeah, <laughs> salads um, and shit. As you said, you know, <laughs> this experiment, you were trying to prove that the worst fast food that everybody blames that it you know is the worst McDonald's. You know, even an athlete, you know, if if you, uh, supreme athlete, if if, it's, yeah. if they're on this diet. The amount of difference it really makes exactly it's, it's negligible. Exactly. That's and that's cool. See yeah. that is because I know that if I stuck to this diet for one more week and I actually did cut those calories back, I'd be blow you'd be blown away how much weight. Even two weeks I'd probably lose two solid pounds of body fat and still keep the muscle on. Your bone density since last time has gone up by zero point seven. That is crazy. Your bones are stronger today yeah. than they See? were last time. Olympic level athletes, so you know, this is a body they yeah. maintain for just a couple of weeks yeah. or you know, maybe a month and a half. 6 to 13, you are at 11, so right 11, now, so that's even after cool. a month of McDonald's, you, your body is ready to go to Olympics right now. So what did <laughs> that tell awesome. you, right? That's true. There you go. High five. Exactly. <laughs> All this fasting, just the benefit is just insane, you know, it's really cool. This is old school. Turkish after shave. <laughs> One more shot. Are you ready? Oh shit. Thank you. Sweet. Thanks, man. So basically, the C-reactive protein test is a sign of inflammation. So mine, because all the fasting that I do was. 0.1, less than 0.1, so like they could almost probably hardly pick it up. And less than eight is actually good. Holy, I'm pumped. See, this is the best part of this whole yeah, thing, right yeah. here, right here. Thing, yeah, and this, all this, like just that, just dropping, like after eating. Yeah, like it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Fasting works. Yeah. It's the fasting. Yeah. So I'm not dying like the like the super size me guy is what no. you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> but he was eating multiple times a day. Yeah. Bread so like, yeah, for would, sure. Yeah. Like obviously I didn't eat, the, I didn't drink the pop, and I didn't eat the fries, but essentially you could go to Burger King or any of those burger joints and eat the burgers and fatty f peanut butter and almost whatever. And as long as you're fasting, like I was fasting f legit 23 hours plus a day there, yeah. and your uh, inflammation levels will be off the charts low. This was what I was hoping for. This is the whole freaking thing right here.